Hey. Hey.
Okay, oh.
mano mo super.
Kita nak kita punya cerita yang ini. Apa sih lepas tak kira? Sepas tak orang ni? Sepas boleh dulu yang ini. Kau buat cara mau awet dengan itu? Kau buat apa? Sudah kita hampir ni, tu hampir ternasa. Ini mui. Kamu tak boleh lupa? Iya, ikut aku. Para para pum 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 pum. Cuando ahora ya se quiere con la foto. Ya por chon. Oh, but you still have to appear or you want to talk about? Nice to.
They use the uh, the masts are almost like a spinner pole, huh? Yeah. Doesn't he look regal? <laughs> the high chief of the seas. like the sticks we used to use when we made little rafts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got my balance, so don't worry about me. Okay. Yes, perfect. Oh, that's that. That's what. That's 
what he's holding. Now the front's the back.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah. Okay. It's amazing how <laughs> backwards, frontwards, frontwards, backwards. On Wednesday, February 10th, 1999, the Big Island of Hawaii's double-hold voyaging canoe Makali'i departed from Hualalai Resort at historic Kaupulehu on her epic 7,200-mile Amau voyage to Micronesia. The purpose of Makali'i's historic voyage was to return Grand Master Navigator Mao Piolug home to his native island of Satawal in western Mi Micronesia. Dr. Pius Mao Piolug first came to the islands of Hawaii 25 years ago to share with the people of Polynesia the ancient arts of non-instrument navigation, seafaring, wayfinding, and canoe building. These arts and skills had been set aside and not practiced by the people of Polynesia for over 100 years. Mao's unselfish and generous sharing of these ancient arts and skills made possible the building of Hokulea, the first voyaging canoe built in Hawaii in over 150 years, and paved the way for Hokulea's first epic voyage to Tahiti. Because of Mao Pilug's willingness to share and teach the ancient skills he possessed to anyone willing to learn, Mao, more than any one individual, set the stage for the rebirth of Hawaiian culture and arts enjoyed by all the people of Hawaii today. Mao Pilug, a kind, gentle, and humble man, asked only one thing in return for his gift of knowledge given so lovingly to all. His one wish that was that one day a Polynesian voyaging canoe would sail him home. On Wednesday, February 10th, 1999, the Big Island of Hawaii's double-hold voyaging canoe, Makali'i, departed from the Hualalai Resort at historic Kaupulehu on her epic 7,200-mile Amau voyage to Micronesia. The purpose of Makali'i's historic voyage was to return Grand Master Navigator Mao Piolug home to his native island of Satawal in western Micronesia. Dr. Pius Mao Pialug first came to the islands of Hawaii 25 years ago to share with the people of Polynesia the ancient arts of non-instrument navigation, seafaring, wayfinding, and canoe building. These arts and skills had been set aside and not practiced by the peoples of Pol Polynesia for over a hundred years. Mao's unselfish and generous sharing of the, these ancient arts and skills made possible the building of Hokulea, the first voyaging canoe built in Hawaii in over 150 years, and paved the way for Hokulea's first epic voyage to Tahiti. Because of Mao Piolug's willingness to share and teach the ancient skills he possessed 
to anyone willing to learn, Mao, more than any one individual, set the stage for the rebirth of Hawaiian culture and arts enjoyed by all the people of Hawaii today. Mao Pialug, a kind, gentle, and humble man, asked only, only one thing in return for his gift of knowledge, given so lovingly to all. His wish was that one day a Polynesian voyaging canoe would sail him home to his native island of Satawal and help him re rekindle the spark of cultural awareness in his people before it was lost like it had been so many years ago by the people of Polynesia. And so it was that the honor of repaying Mao's kindness and generous... On Wednesday, February 10th, 1999, the Big Island of Hawaii's double-hulled voyaging canoe Makali'i departed from Hawalalai Resort at historic Kuupulehu on her epic 7,200-mile Amau voyage to Micronesia. The purpose of Makali'i's historic voyage was to return Grand Master Navigator Mao Pialug home to his native island of Satawal in western Micronesia. Dr. Pius Mao Pialug first came to the islands of Hawaii 25 years ago to share with the people of Polynesia the ancient arts of non-instrument navigation, seafaring, wayfinding, and canoe building. These arts and skills had been set aside and not practiced by the people of Polynesia for over a hundred years. Mao's unselfish and generous sharing of these ancient arts and skills made possible the building of Hokulea, the first voyaging canoe built in Hawaii in over 150 years, and paved the way for Hokulea's first epic voyage to Tahiti. Because of Mao Pialug's willingness to share and teach the ancient skills he possessed to anyone willing to learn, Mao, more than any one individual, set the stage for the rebirth of Hawaiian culture and arts enjoyed by all the people of Hawaii today. Fuck. On Wednesday, February 10th, 1999, the Big Island of Hawaii's double-hulled voyaging canoe, Makali'i, departed from Hualalai Resort at historic Kuupulehu on her epic 7,200-mile Amau voyage to Micronesia. The purpose of Makali's historic voyage was to return Grand Master Navigator Mao Pialug home to his native island of Satawal in western Micronesia. Dr. Pius Mao Pialug first came to the islands of Hawaii 25 years ago to share with the people of Polynesia the ancient arts of non-instrument navigation, seafaring, wayfinding, and canoe building. These arts and skills had been set aside and not practiced by the people of Polynesia for over a hundred years. Mao's unselfish and generous sharing of these ancient arts and skills made possible the building of Hokulea, the first voyaging canoe built in Hawaii in over 150 years and paved the way for Hokulea's first epic voyage to Tahiti. Because of Mao Pialug's willingness to share and teach the ancient skills he possessed, to anyone willing to learn, Mao, more than any one individual, set the stage for the rebirth of Hawaiian culture and arts enjoyed by all the people of Hawaii today. Mao Pialug, a kind, gentle, and humble man, asked only one thing in return for his gift of knowledge, given so lovingly to all. His one wish was that one day a Polynesian voyaging canoe would sail him home to his native island of Satawal and help him rekindle the spark of cultural awareness in his people before it was lost like it had been so so many, many years ago 
by the people of Polynesia. And so it was that the honor of repaying Mao's kindness and generosity to all the people of Polynesia was bestowed on the crew of Makali'i. For all of us who took part in sailing the Master Ho, did so knowing we not only represented Makali'i, Hokalea, Hawaii Loa, and the people of Hawaii, but we also voyaged for our brothers and sisters in New Zealand, Tahiti, and the Cook Islands, and all the people of the Pacific whose cultures have been enriched because Mao Piolug shared his knowledge with us all. All of us who over the years have been fortunate enough to be instructed by or sailed with Mao Piolug have learned that the canoe is our mother, constantly nurturing all who sail on her. For all of us who have come to know and respect Mao the man, he has become like a father to us all. For in his heart is the spark of knowledge renewed. Enjoyed by all the people of Hawaii today. Mao Pialug, a kind, gentle, and humble man, asked only one thing in return for his gift of knowledge given so lovingly to all. His one wish was that one day a Polynesian voyaging canoe would sail him home to his native island of Satawal and help him rekindle the spark of cultural awareness in his people before it was lost like it had been so so many years ago by the people of Polynesia. And so it was that the honor of repaying Mao's kindness and generosity to all the people of Polynesia was bestowed on the crew of Makali'i. For all of us who took part in sailing the master home did so knowing we not only represented Makali'i, Hokalea, Hawaii Loa, and the people of Hawaii, but we also voyaged for our brothers and sisters in New Zealand, Tahiti, and the Cook Islands, and all the people of the Pacific whose cultures have been enriched because Mao Piolug shared his knowledge with us all. All of us who over the years have been fortunate enough to be instructed by or sailed with Mao Piolug have learned that the canoe is our mother, constantly nurturing all who sail on her. For all of us who have come to know and respect the man, he has become like a father to us all. For in his heart is the spark of knowledge renewed.